Hello guys, this is Clone Trooper 19 and today I'm going to be kind of showing you guys how to work with wiring and this will be a pretty easy tutorial, but let's get started. So first, we just want to go into the free models. You'll see why. We're going to search up the wiring tool just so we can use this to test our object. Just put this into the starter pack and we should be set for now. Now, we're going to make a wiring object that when a wiring signal is sent, it will sparkle for a configurable amount of time. So while we're at that, we might want a configure tool. So just look up that. And we'll put this into here. Now, first, we also might want a st stamper tool. Wait, no, we don't. We would have to configure it. Anyways, so first, Let's just make the object we're going to be stamping. So we probably want to make this 4x4. Four four. Now this isn't perfect, so we want to set the sh... No, I mean the form factor to symmetric. And now it's perfectly 4x4. Four four. And then what we want to do is insert a model and toss this part in here. Just so we can... Okay. Maybe you don't have to do that. Yeah, we don't need to do that. Yep. Okay, so if we want to make this object wireable, we have to insert a custom event receiver. And this is basically that green dot you see when you're wiring. And whatever this is named, that's what will show up on the wiring tool. So we want to, like, say, name this make sparkly. I mean, circles. <laughs> and then we're going to to make it configurable. We're going to insert the configuration object, and then we're going to insert a double constraint value. We'll set the max value to whatever you want, but the min value should at least be one. And so let's just set this to maybe three, and name this Sparkle Time. So we can, and now that we have this, we want to be able to code this. Now, if I'm correct, I think I remember the method of how this is done, but I may have to look at the wiki. <laughs> so don't judge me. Okay. So first we want to just create the function that occurs when the source value here is changed. So... Oh, first we want to. I almost forgot about this. We need the sparkles if we're gonna be able to do this. Don't mind that. I haven't finished the script yet. So let's just make this not enable for now. So yeah. I'm just connecting. So what this basically does right here, this will turn on the sparkles, and then we want to wait for the sparkle time that you have configured it. So now we'll wait for that time that you've set with it with the configure tool, and then we'll set it to false. This is just an example of how what you can use it for. But there are clearly plenty of ways that you can create wiring objects. This is just an example. And so, I think this is the correct event. Script a parent that makes sparkles a source value chain. Connect on fired. I'm positive that's the correct event, but I'm probably wrong. So, wish me luck. Anyways. So we want to insert a wiring button just so we can wire this up because we don't have a sample tool of us. And so let's just give this a test. I'm sure there's going to be an error. But here goes nothing. When we hit this, it should... Yep, there it goes. It's working. So when we hit this, it sparkles. 
where'd the config tool go? <coughs> Maybe we can, let me grab the config tool again. I think I accidentally deleted it or something. There we go. Now let's just go test this again. Alright, so we know that the wiring is working, and when we try to configure this, we can change the time to anything we want. It doesn't matter. But it will set to whatever time you want. So if we want to set this to sparkle time 5, if we hit this... Oh, whoops, forgot to wire it. So if we hit this, it should sparkle for 5 seconds. And that's pretty much how it works. Thanks for watching.